you know, we're, we're not far, man. Like, we're, we're, we got to piece some things together. We got to be more consistent. We got to score in the red zone. But we're not far, you know. And I, I know the score looks like it the last two weeks, and I get it. I am the number one guy in charge. Uh, but I, I, I still haven't lost any faith in us being able to have a special year and us finding ways to get better down uh, down the stretch here. So, got to turn around quickly. Got a really good Rice team coming into town and, and a really, really big one next Saturday. These are really, really difficult times, you know, and uh, it's just keeping things in perspective and keeping guys together and, and making sure that we're finding ways to get better week in and week out. You know, I mean, the same, uh, it, it was, a, if, if we can enjoy the pats on the back and the excitement and the college game day after beating Duke, then we need to be man enough to be able to experience the lows of, of getting our butt kicked for two weeks in a row. So as part of the game, it teaches us so many life lessons and, uh, we as coaches have to be the example of how to respond. Marcus does a great job and uh, practices his rear end off, prepares really hard. It's important to him. So uh, we're, we're glad we have him. Thought he did some good things. Uh, he'll continue to get better because he works at getting better week in and week out. Proud of him, proud of his response. Thought he did a really good job kicking the ball today. Uh, he's a great player. And uh, again, uh, when you know when it came push came to shove, he, he responded. And I'm proud of him for that.